Hey friends, looking for some delicious breakfast options? This recipe for peanut sticky rice is hearty and satisfying. With minimal ingredients and prepping, your rice cooker does most of the work in this easy recipe. For the ingredients have raw shelled peanuts, salt, water, and glutinous rice. For the topping have roasted peanuts, roasted sesame seeds, sugar, and salt. Let's start by washing the raw shelled peanuts. Transfer into a bowl of cold water. Gently swirl in the water for about 30 seconds. Remove any skin that's floating around, and then drain well. Transfer the peanuts into a rice cooker. Add a quarter teaspoon salt and three cups water. Close the rice cooker. Now set to the mixed cooking mode or sweet rice cooking mode, depending on your rice cooker. Let it cook for the duration, approximately one and a half hours. During this time, let's prepare the glutinous rice. Transfer the rice into a colander and bowl and then fill with cold water. Again, gently swirl the rice in the cold water. Pour out the rinse water, and then repeat this washing process one or two more times or until the water is mostly clear. Toss the rice in the colander a few times to remove any remaining water. Now spread out the rice and allow to drain. Back to the peanuts, which should be now cooked. Here's a quick test. If you can pinch the peanut in half between your fingers, it's adequately cooked. Now transfer to a colander and allow to drain for just a few minutes. This is an optional step. Remove any loose skins, but they're perfectly edible. Transfer the peanuts back into the rice cooker. Add the rice, one quarter teaspoon salt, and one cup water. Gently combine everything together. Spread everything out into an even layer and make sure all the rice is covered with water. The peanuts are just fine if not covered in water since they're already cooked. Again, set the rice cooker to the mixed cooking mode or sweet rice mode. Allow to cook for the duration, approximately 40 minutes. To make the topping, transfer the roasted peanuts into a small food processor. Pulse just a few seconds to chop them. Now add the roasted sesame seeds, sugar, and salt. Pulse again for a few more seconds. Transfer to a small bowl and set aside for now. Once the cook time is completed, open the lid. Using chopsticks, gently combine everything together. Transfer a generous amount of the peanut sticky rice to a plate. Sprinkle with the peanut sesame topping. Enjoy right away while it's nice and hot. Another delicious topping is shredded young coconut. For something sweeter, try sweetened coconut flakes. The raw shelled peanuts are packaged and sold in bags that look like this. Because it takes a good amount of time to cook the peanuts, I usually cook the entire bag. Then I divide into one cup portions. I store these bags in the freezer. So whenever I'm craving peanut sticky rice, I defrost one bag and cook with that. There are a couple different ways to cook the peanuts. The peanuts can be boiled. Use a generous amount of water and cook over medium-low heat. This takes approximately 45 minutes. Use a pressure cooker to cook the peanuts. Cover with water. Cook using high pressure for 20 minutes. After the high pressure cook, continue in the keep warm mode for another 20 minutes. Another option is to use the slow cooker. Cover the peanuts with water. Cook on low for seven to eight hours. And finally, if you want to reduce the cooking time, soak the peanuts in water for six to eight hours or overnight. Hi, I hope you've enjoyed this easy how-to video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post below. For full recipes, check out runawayrice.com. I work on new recipes each week, so please subscribe to my channel to stay tuned. This is Trang wishing you good eating and good health. Thanks for watching.